Hi guys, it's Inspiration on Nails, and I'm coming to show you my really adorable Manny. And this is uh, from Bondo Monster, the plate that I use. And look how cute! It's all these different nail polishes, and it says "Keep Calm and Polish On." And that cannot get any better for us nail ladies, okay? And I'm sorry, it's just not focusing. I apologize. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to show you what I use, and I'm actually going to go ahead and stamp the image on my ring finger. And as you see, uh, this one here, as you see, it does not have the little polish bottle on this one because my nail's not long enough. But I was able to fit the entire image with the little nail polish bottle. And I'm going to show you the plate that I used. And this is the plate, and I'm sorry that it's not um, as clear, which I'm just going to go ahead and try to get that, get this plate better better looking for you okay so as you can see you see all the pretty images on here and there goes all the little bottles the nail polish bottles and here's the one that says keep calm and polish on with that adorable little bottle of polish so the one that I'm going to be showing you guys is this one right here with all the little polish bottles okay and that's the one I'm going to do right here on my ring finger so I'm going to show you what I used I used the Westonian uh, stamper and this is the firm stamper okay and I also used a dotting tool you can pick any dotting tool and I also used just random nail polish colors I want it to bright colors to pop so most of the ones I used were sinful colors besides like two um, and this is the pink one and this is uh, Fusion Neon okay this um, really really neon orange and it's called Summer Peach I have no idea why they call it Summer Peach but that is the name okay I use this purple which is like a it's a gel it's the from the gel collection and this is um, Prismatic Prismatic Okay, and I use this really neon yellow and it's called Neon Melon. I used um, Sally Henson Pacific Blue and this is from the this is the original Pacific Blue. Okay, and I also use this neon green. It does not have a number, but it's from Color Zone and um, it is very neon. Okay, so those are the colors I use. Of course, you can use whatever colors you want. And I just decided to, I really wanted the colors to be really bright and pop. So those are the colors that I went with. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and stamp this image on my nail. And you are going to need, of course, a scraper. I'm just using a regular scraper for this one. And one of the things that, uh, whenever you're doing something like this and you're actually going to paint, because I'm actually going to paint this image on the stamper not when I actually stamp and do it on my nails so I'm actually gonna stamp onto the stamper whenever you're using a lot of colors and things like that you do want to prep meaning that you want to open all of your bottles or if you're doing with if you're playing around with acrylic paints you want to have them all ready because I know that sometimes when you see YouTube videos and you see them on fast forward <laughs> or you really see just bits and pieces, you don't see the whole time that it takes for someone to really do their nails. And I think maybe some people may get discouraged uh, because they don't really see how much time it really takes to do this. You know, stamping is so much fun and it definitely has a different, you know, you can do so many different techniques with stamping. And if you're putting a lot of, um, you know, stamping your layering or your painting, um, it is going to take time, okay? And you really want to make sure that you prep everything so that you have everything already out. Because that could, you know, really um, discourage you if, you know, if you're like nothing is coming together or when you stamp it's just not working and it's not coming together like you see sometimes on the video. So again, you know, just have fun with it. And if you just got into stamping, um, I definitely, definitely recommend just to get really good plates and you can try out all of your nail polishes if you have a very big nail polish collection because you do have so many polishes just that are not stamping polishes that will work. You just have to try them all out to see which ones do and which ones don't. 
okay and you might have enough in your collection to just use those um, if not, then um, you can buy different types of uh, stamping polishes from all different kind of companies. You have Conad, uh, you have uh, Mundo de Uñas, you have Rica. There's just so many now, especially now. Uh, stamping has be has boomed in the last, I would say, the last six months. Um, and people, more and more and more people, are getting into stamping. So, with that said. I'm just going to go ahead and put nail polish on my image. I'm going to swipe and pick up the image and there it is. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go ahead and just move this to the side. Okay, and here's my little palette here, <laughs> my little color palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and just dab where the nail polish colors are um, with the nail polishes and then I will be back okay so I'm back okay so now you don't need much again you're just taking your uh, dotting tool and you are going to paint inside of the open areas to paint the little nail polish bottles okay and of course I'm using a dotting tool okay and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do just a couple. What I did was is I think I did two of each color. And here I'm doing the purple. Okay, and I just picked there is, you know, I didn't, you know, say okay, these exact bottles I'm gonna paint with this color and these exact bottle. I didn't care. You know, I just kind of you know, I did one purple here, one purple over there, and just like that. That's how what I did. Okay, and then um, I'm going to continue and then I will be back. Okay, so as you see here, I'm almost finished painting. I have one more to paint. Um, one of the things I do want to tell you is that whenever you're painting on the stamper, you do want to make sure, you know, one of the things I would recommend is like the neons, not to use the neons as much you know you got to be really careful when you're using the neons because it may pull off the image when you're actually stamping because the neons dry very quickly so you do want to make sure that you know again when you're playing around with um, polishes and seeing what works what don't work I mean I definitely wanted to use bright colors uh, but one of the things about the neons is that it may lift the actual image right off when you're dabbing it because it dries so quickly Okay, so just, you know, you just have to be aware and when you play around with it, you'll see what works really well and what doesn't. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint this last one. Okay, and now we're just going to just give it a few to let it dry. And of course, this doesn't take, it's not going to take a long time uh, because, you know, it's not that much polish on here. Uh, it's not like maybe some other images where you are putting a lot of polish and you have a full image. This one, I mean, as you see, they're just small little polishes. So it's not going to take that long to dry. Okay, so I would usually wait until it's completely dry to the touch before I go ahead and stamp it. Okay, so now that it's dry, and I can tell because you can see how, you know, um, glossy it is where you can touch and of course nothing transfers to your finger, you know that you're ready to stamp. So now when I actually stamp, everyone has their own technique. Um, with this image, I'm just going to kind of squish my finger and then um, slowly lift off from one side, okay? So I'm just going to line it up, okay, and push, and then I'm gonna start to lift off from one side okay and pull off gently Oh, okay now I did miss some bottles I'm just gonna go in and just push okay and then press down
come on. And again, I'm just pushing down and rolling off, okay? And I didn't get this one down here, so I'm just going to try to push it on. If it doesn't, it's okay. So there we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up the edges. Okay, and I'm just going to take my brush and go around the edges and clean up. Okay, now what I would do here is I would always go over it with Chesvite so that it dries quickly and you know you can definitely do whatever else you want to do on top. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a layer of Chesvite on top. And then what I did was is I just put a top of this Wet n Wild and it's called hallucinate okay very pretty I got it at the dollar store actually no this I didn't get at the dollar store um, they had them at the dollar store but I got this one at um, CVS they had them for 69 cents and I actually picked up a couple of these and I just gonna go ahead and I wanted to add some glitter because who doesn't love glitter especially in their nail polish Okay, so I went ahead and put just one quick coat of this one here, and as you see, it shines really, really pretty, and that's it. It is actually, you know, I wouldn't say that this is a beginner, but this is probably, um, probably a second level in stamping because it just goes into more, you know, being, you know, coloring and painting onto the stamper. Uh, but just try it out and I hope you like this video and until the next one and keep calm and polish on. Bye guys!